a history lesson in one of Seattle's oldest neighborhoods. Um, you still see a lot of the buildings that are, um, you know, the same. They've been remodeled. 69-year-old Ron Chu, a longtime journalist and editor for the International Examiner, calls the Seattle Chinatown International District his home, which was forever changed 40 years ago. Having the Wami murders happen in this neighborhood was pretty gut-wrenching. Sunday marks four decades since Washington's deadliest mass shooting, when three men robbed and killed 13 people in the Wami Club, a closed-door gambling establishment in a basement storefront along Maynard Alley in the Louisa Hotel. It traumatized uh, everybody, certainly the Chinese community, because we knew a lot of those folks. They were considered our uncles. They were our folks we grew up with, the, their kids. He says the media coverage at the time, and even in some instances in recent years, has perpetuated stereotypes and misrepresented what this community stands for. In that same vein, Chu believes the neighborhood is not getting the support it needs. Still struggle with issues of poverty down here, crime, um, and um, substandard housing. As Chu reflects on the last four decades, he hopes a tragedy like the Wami massacre never happens again and hopes his home will continue striving to reach its full potential. 40 years is a long time. The neighborhood has changed a lot, but it still struggles to find its voice and to be listened to uh, in a way that it deserves to be. In Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.